Engineering is defined as an act of skilled managing or the practical application of science and math skills to everyday life. Engineering is not just a degree to be earned, but the skills of engineering can be applied to a vast number of fields. Teaching engineering to Indians were never on top of the mind for the British until 1837 to 38, when close to a million people died due to the Agra famine. After spending a considerable amount on relief, the East India Company felt the need to build an irrigation system in the Doab region with support from skilled hands. Colonel Cotley was given charge of building the canal. He was Superintendent General of Canals since 1836 and was involved in various other development projects. He suggested to James Thompson, Lieutenant Governor of the Northwest Provinces, the need to train locals in civil engineering. Hence, the first engineering department in the country was established at IIT Roorkee in 1847. Departments in engineering when and where they were first started. Computer science engineering was first established in IIT Kanpur in the year 1963. IT was established in IIIT Hyderabad in 1998. Electronics and communication engineering was started in IISC in, in the year 1947. Electrical engineering was established in Thompson College IIT Roorkee in the year 1897. Chemical engineering was established first in Jadopur University in 1921. Mechanical engineering was established in University of Roorkee in the year 1946. Biotechnology engineering was established first by the Ministry of Science and Technology in the year 1986. Now, let's talk about civil engineering. The branch of engineering that came into existence at the earliest stage of engineering history. Civil engineering is a professional engineering discipline that deals with the design, construction and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment including public works such as roads, bridges, canal, dams, airport, sewer system, pipeline, structural components of building and railways. Now it's a no-brainer that for quite a long time in ancient India, most of the construction was carried out by artisans and technical expertise was limited. In fact, until about the 19th century, there was no major difference between the terms civil engineering and architecture and they were often used interchangeably. In fact, civil engineering is considered as the second oldest engineering discipline after military engineering. In the time frame of 1947 to 1960, tasks were accomplished by utilization of manual labor only without the use of sophisticated machinery since it did not exist at all. Now the concept of GIS or geographical information system which you might have heard of was introduced in the early 1960s and it was subsequently researched and developed as a new discipline. A geographical information system is a conceptualized framework that provides the ability to capture and analyze spatial and geography data. GIS is a concept that we use very frequently in conducting surveys in civil engineering. Now, after that, the most prominent contributor in the field of civil engineering is considered to be computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacture, respectively called CAD and CAM. Civil engineers use this technology to achieve an efficient system of construction, including manufacture, fabrication, and erection. 3D design software like STAD, Revit, etc. are essential tools for the civil engineers that facilitate them in the efficient designing of bridges, tall buildings, and other huge complicated structures. Now, in 1971, the first commercial version of ANSYS software was labeled version 2.0 and released. Now, ANSYS software, which is used very frequently in civil engineering, is mainly used to design products and semiconductors, as well as to create simulations that test a product's durability, temperature distribution, fluid movements, and electromagnetic properties. It was in 1982 when a group of programmers led by John Walker developed the first version of AutoCAD. The software was first created by Michael Riddle, who was another member of this same team. Now, if we had to define AutoCAD in a few words, we would say that it's a CAD type software. That is, it's a computer aided design type software oriented to drawing and modeling in 2D and 3D. It allows the creation and modification of geometric models with an in almost infinite capacity to develop all types of structures and objects. Next, we have Structural Analysis and Designing Program, or STAD Pro, which was developed by Research Engineers International in 1997. It is a structural and analysis design software application, and in late 2005, Research Engineers International was bought by Bentley Systems. STAD Pro is one of the most widely used structural analysis and designing software products worldwide, and it supports over 90 international steel, concrete, timber, and aluminium design codes. Now next, the first version of Revit was launched in 2000 by Revit Technology Corporation and its name is basically a contraction of the word revise it. 
Now, this software allows users to design a building and structure and its components in 3D, annotate the model with 2D drafting elements, and access building information from the building model's database. Now, Bentley MX Road, this was created in the year 2003, and this provides information-rich modeling integrated with CAD, mapping, GIS, and business tools, such as PDFs, iModels, and hypermodels. With MX Road, you can quickly create design alternatives to achieve the ideal road system. It enables the rapid and accurate designing of all road types. Now, countless other designing software have been designed and introduced in the last decade. And of course, in all of these, there have been thousands of contributors from India in developing these softwares. And with the help of these technologies, we have managed to reduce the time and effort required to do the same task manually. You know, civil engineering is a vast subject with countless subdivisions, and there have been multiple roadmaps which have been created and planned out and also successfully conducted for so many fields, including transport and highway planning, fuel quality improvement, water quality improvement, air quality standard modification, etc. And we all know about the technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning. And what used to be done manually before is now being done using these cutting edge technologies. So yes, we have been implementing artificial intelligence and machine learning and several other technologies to civil engineering as well. Of course, we haven't been able to include every single technological advancement in the field of civil engineering in this video. Uh, but we hope that we were able to give you an overview of all the advancements and maybe you'll read up more on this and find out what other technological advancements have been occurring and what the future prospects are. Coming up to mechanical engineering, it is a branch of engineering which deals with the design, manufacturing, maintenance and testing of machines. It is also considered as one of the most diverse and versatile discipline of engineering. Mechanical engineering also includes the application of mechanics, material science, applied mathematics and physics. With the rise of modern technology, mechanical engineering has witnessed newfound importance with more and more students opting to learn less explore domains of robotics, mechatronics, nanotechnology, etc. History of Mechanical Engineering in India The first engineering college before independence was established in 1847 for these civil engineers and was called the Thomas College of Civil Engineering. In 1947, it was renamed as the University of Roorkee and it also became the first engineering college of independent India. Mechanical department in India was introduced in the year 1946 and the first batch that graduated was in the year 1949. It has a vast course and it includes topics like casting, manufacturing, production, designing, etc. Just after the independence, when engineering line was set up in India, it didn't have much resources to clear the concepts of students. As a country developed, it had improved its teaching techniques and also its resources, which may help students specifically in mechanical department. From the starting, this department has a good name and early everyone wanted this department because it gives money, government job and also respect. So we understand how important it was back in th those days. In the future, this department has scope to merge with other departments. Innovations in the mechanical field of India. Aryabhatta, India's first indigenously built satellite, is built by ISRO. It was launched by India on 19th April 1975 from Kapustin Yer, Russia. BrahMos, a medium-range, fastest cruise missile, was a joint venture between DRDO and NPO Mashish Nostroneya. It was used by all the three Indian Armed Forces and it has been in service since November 2006. Resat or Radar Imaging Satellite is a series of radar imaging satellites built by ISRO. They provide all weather, earth observation and surveillance capabilities. Tejas, designed by ADA and manufactured by AJL, is a fourth generation lightweight multi role aircraft with an aim to replace MIG 21S and MIG 27S in IAF, and it has all round capabilities. Agni 5, the 5000 Kilometer missile capable of delivering 
1500 kgs of nuclear warheads ensures India has every inch of its adversary's territory undercover. The missile attains single-digit accuracy despite traveling at Mach 24 at terminal phase. India's innovation to generate clean energy from concentrated solar power. Scientists at IISC have developed a supercritical CO2 Brayton test loop facility to help generate clean energy from future power plants, including solar thermal. Advancements in Mechanical Engineering The progress of various engineering disciplines are playing an important role because it helps to innovate a new method of producing goods and technology and it refers to the process which, in which inputs are transformed into the outputs, increasing the productivity of labor. The artificial intelligence, robotics, mechatronics, data science, machine learning is the latest technology which makes our life smarter and easier. This will be in the future in advancing the Industry 4.0 revolution. The progress and advancement in the mechanical engineering domain can be treated as mechatronics, robotics, IoT or Internet of Things, electrical vehicles. Mechatronics The mechatronics is the new technology in the Industry 4.0 revolution and it will be very helpful in making the path very easy. Robotics the robotics is a new technology of mechanical engineering. It, it reduces the heavy weight to carry easily and it makes the life smarter and it is very useful in various domains such as medical research center, space research center or any job sites etc. 3D printing The new trend in mechanical engineering domain and this is the complex process of designing the object model in CAD software, producing the ultra thin layers in the designed objects with the use of STL, IoT or Internet of Things. This is the system of computing device to transfer data over network without needing human to human interaction. This is very helpful in the dynamics of machine. Electric vehicles. This is the new trend of mechanical engineering domain. It has many advantages like it can reduce the pollution, it can be directed by the algorithm used in remote. The IC engine is totally protected. It has many instruments which can prevent the car from any disaster. The other latest progresses in the technological sites are CAT CAM sustainability, machine learning, artificial intelligence, which is used in the research center in order to detect any diseases like malaria, etc. The chemical industry is the backbone of India's industrial and agricultural development. The chemical sector, which is knowledge and capital intensive, is the mainstay of industrial and agricultural development and provides building blocks for downstream industries such as textiles, papers, paints, soaps, detergents, and pharmaceuticals, among others. The fertilizer and agrochemical industries ensure food security and are thus vital to India's developing and agrarian economy. Likewise, the synthetic fiber industry is crucial to provide affordable clothing and pharmaceutical industry gives the country's vast population access to low-cost drugs. Now, we are going to discuss progress of chemical engineering in independent India. During the first two decades after India's independence from British rule in 1947, several industrial units were established to make basic chemicals dyes and textile auxiliaries and fertilizers also. Some of the major chemical companies after independence were Atul Limited which was established 1947 in Gujarat, Sindri Fertilizer and Chemical Limited which was established 1951 in Dhanbad, the district of Jharkhand, Alchem in Mumbai, the established year is 1973 and many others. Here we presenting a chart of such chemical companies. In addition to this of companies which helps in the growth of uh, the chemical industry in present India are ONGC, Hindustan Petroleum, Bharat Petroleum, Indian Oil, Holdia Petrochemicals, Tata Chemicals and so on many others. Now we are going to discuss the present scenario 
of the Indian chemical industry. Our Indian chemical industry is the 12th largest industry in the world and third largest in Asia. The most important thing is the net valuation of Indian chemical industry, including pharmaceuticals, that is $50 billion in 2006. That is the growth of industry is 20.8% CAGR from 2002 to 2006. And the market is expected to grow to $75.8 billion, that is 13.6 this year, by the report of 2011, evolved from being a basic chemical producer to also offering specially and fine chemical products. Here we are presenting a graph of the market size of our Indian chemical industry. We are ending our discussion by the showing the distribution of various chemical industry in India. Is that our India is the seventh largest country by area with petrochemicals, refining, fertilizer and pharmaceutical plants located throughout its 29 states. We also represent a bar graph regarding the sales in chemical industries from 2014 to 15, India's chemical industry was valued at 137 US billion dollar with overall chemical and chemical products sales of 147 US billion dollar. Bulk chemical, petrochemicals and specialty chemicals accounted for 65% of total sales. The fertilizer and agrochemicals industries represent important nationwide industry segment. I am thereby ending my discussion on these topics. Biotechnology is the technology that utilizes biological systems, living organisms or a part of this to develop or create different products. Brewing and baking breads are examples of the process that fall within the concept of biotechnology. Karl Erecki was a Hungarian agricultural engineer. The term biotechnology was coined by him in 1919. He is regarded by some as the father of biotechnology. Revolution of biotechnology. Since independence. When did it all begin? Emergence of biotechnology. India is one of the first few countries among the developing countries to have recognized the importance of biotechnology early as the 1980s. India's sixth five-year plan, 1980-85, was the first policy document to cover biotechnology department in the country. National Biotechnology Board, NBTB, was set up in 1982. The NBTB issued long-term plan in biotechnology for India in April 1983. Later, in 1986, NBTB graduated to a full-fledged government department called Department of Biotechnology. During independent Green Revolution and White Revolution marked the beginning of new prospects for biotechnology. Research and development in the past years. A good framework was set up by the Indian government for genetically modified crops and recombinant DNA products for human health. India amended the Patents Act 1970 to provide exclusive marketing rights EMRs as per her obligation under the provisions of the WTO or TRIPS agreement in 1999. In 2000, Anu Acharya, the young Indian entrepreneur, was just breaking into the biotechnology arena with her first startup, the genomics and bioinformatics company Okimum Biosolution in Hyderabad. In 2001, International Service for the Acquisition of Agribiotic Application has spurred biotechnology for the hybridization of cotton from 3BT cotton hybrids in 2004 to 2003 to 1165 BT cotton hybrids in 2014. And at the same time, the area of cotton hybrids increased significantly to 95% in 2014 from 45% in 2001. In 2005, patent system has come into force to convey the wall that Indian industry supports the framework of new initiatives. Many states in India started new policies to develop the biotechnology industry as a whole.
the present achievements in 2008 to 2009 a molecular cytogenetic approach and chromosome elimination procedure was applied to bred wheat in 2011 to 2012 The University of Bordeaux has synthesized a phenthazine compound and a platinum as a compound which can be used as a small molecule inhibitor as well as isoquinoline was synthesized for cancer cells. In 2015 to 2017, penicillium funiculosum was identified for cellulase cocktail as well as autosomal recessive juvenile Parkinsonism, a novel homozygous frame shift insertion c85 to 90 was identified in 2018 to 2019 the establishment of neuroimaging and neurospectroscopy laboratory of national brain research center has developed complete and integrated software that could help early diagnosis of mental health problems in 2020 india's first indigenous covid-19 vaccine covaxin developed by bharat biotech in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research and Covishield developed by Serum Institute showed a light amidst this pandemic next it is electrical engineering a branch of engineering that deals with the study of application of electricity electronics and electromagnetism trained electrical engineers design electric circuits and equipments they work on large power plants as well as in small hardware companies which includes designing manufacturing and operating power plants industrial machinery electrical motors computer chips and ignition system for automobiles aircraft spacecrafts and all kind of engines now electronics engineering or electronics and communication engineering is an electrical engineering discipline which utilizes non linear and active electrical component to design electronic circuits devices integrated circuits and their systems now we have applied electronics and instrumentation engineering an advanced branch of engineering which deals with the application of existing or known scientific knowledge in electronics instrumentation measurements and control for any process practical calibration of instruments automation of process etc advancements in electronics based industries between 1947 and 2006 satellite and communication revolution when vikram sarabhai as chairman of the indian national committee for space research in mid 1960s envisioned the use of satellite technology for communication remote sensing and weather prediction few people believed him because india then did not possess any capability in building a rocket or a satellite he wanted india to use space technology for education health and rural development within a decade india not only developed such a capability but demonstrated to the world peaceful use of space technology with the success of the satellite instructional television experiment site and the launch of aryabhatta satellite from the soviet union we now come to the 1960s timeline the first handheld calculator was first invented by texas instruments in the 1960s it was a major development in the field of engineering The video game console developed by Ralph Baer was the first home video game console originally known as Brown Box. We now come to the 1970s timeline. Sir Charles Quinn Cow was an electrical engineer and physicist who pioneered the development and use of fiber optics in telecommunications. The floppy disk drive was also a major breakthrough by IBM. It was a better and more convenient device to store memory at that time martin cooper an american engineer who led the team that in 1972 to 1973 built the first mobile cell phone and made the first cell phone call the altair 8800 is a microcomputer designed in 1974 by mits and based on the intel 8080 cpu The first Walkman prototype was built from a modified Sony Pressman, a compact cassette recorder designed for journalists and released in 1977. We then come to the 1980s timeline. Sony released the first consumer camcorder in 1983, the Betamovie BMC 100P. It was a Betamax cassette and rested on the operator's shoulder. Zipanowski and Milksa Dairy and company were researching ways of increasing efficiency of electrical power transmission. 
They experimented with power supplies and current transformation, which led to the invention of the ZBD alternating current transformer in 1885. The digital Group 3 fax machine introduced in 1980. Originally, Group 3 fax was intended for transmission at data rates between 2400 and 9600 bits per second. The first attempt to develop an indigenous electronic exchange was initiated at the Telecom Research Center, TRC, in the 1960s, and the first breakthrough was a 100-line electronic switch developed in 1973. Around the same time, scientists at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, TIFR, along with those from IIT Bombay, developed a digital automatic electronic switch for the Army. Advancement in electronics-based industries between 1987 and 2006. From 1983 till 1990, India's electronic industry's output grew eightfold in the six years, registering an average annual growth of over 40%. BPL, Sharp, Videocon, Onida, Uptron, ETNT, and others grew to be strong competitors, making over 1.3 million television sets, calculators, etc. At the turn of the 60s, the Indian electronic industry had little more to offer than radios and transistor sets. Today, not only is the market flooded with a variety of electronic goods, but there has been a big spurt in exports. The Indian electronics industry has grown tenfold in the past decade. We'll now venture upon the 2000 to 2010 timeline. Memristor. A memristor is a non-linear two-terminal electrical component that was invented during this time. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, was constructed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN. The 3D camera was also invented during this timeline. We'll now look at the 2010 to 2021, that is, the present timeline. Wireless charging technologies became more and more popular. LED bulbs were designed as a more energy-efficient light source. Internet revolution in India became massive after Jio launched its amazing plans. Samsung, the largest mobile manufacturing plant, also came to India, specifically Noida. The world's smallest and lightest satellite, weighing only 64 grams, was developed by an Indian student from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. The Apple M1 chip using cutting-edge 5 nanometer process technology was also introduced. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, a branch of the U.S. military, has announced a new research and development program known as Neutral Engineering System Design, or NESD. Now, moving up to computer science engineering. Computer science engineering encompasses a variety of topics that relates to computation, like analysis of algorithm, programming languages, program design, software, and computer hardware. Computer science engineering has roots in electrical engineering, mathematics, and linguistics. In the past, computer science was taught as a part of mathematics or engineering department. In the recent days, it has emerged as a separate engineering field, data and information. IT is typically used within the context of business operations as opposed to personal or entertainment technologies. IT is considered to be a subset of information and communication technology. CSBS is one of the most demanding fields. Candidates from this field play a vital role in software development and deployment, system analyst and designer, technology consultant, much more. The curriculum is designed by the Tata Consultancy Services software company to enable the student for industry-ready employability. Computer science is basically the study of algorithmic processes, computational machines, and computation itself. As a discipline, computer science spans a range of topics from theoretical studies of algorithm, computation, and information to the practical issues of implementing computational systems in hardware and softwares. Its fields can be divided into theoretical and practical disciplines. For example, the theory of computation concerns about abstract models of computation and general classes of problems that can be solved using them, while computer graphics or computational geometry emphasize more specific applications. As a discipline, computer science was first introduced in IIT Kanpur in the 1963s, started as a separate discipline in IIT Madras, and it was the first institute to offer sophisticated computing with the IBM System 370.
IIT Delhi started the department in 1976 offering PhD and research programs and also the ICES or known as the Indian Computing Education Society started as a volunteering organization in the 1990s encouraging the Indian youths to start computer centers. Computer Science and Business Systems also known as CSBS was started as a discipline by TCS to cater to the rising need of engineering talents with skills in technology. This state of art course aims to impart knowledge of cutting edge technologies and business skills with hand on exposure to make students industry ready. The main goal of this course is to make sure that the students not only know the core topics of computer science, but also develop an equal understanding of humanities, human values, and management sciences. It aims that the students would learn the common business principles, explore the business discipline and service orientation, innovate ability, have a strong human ethic and values, and understand technology abstraction. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are the buzzwords of this century. Their wide range of application has changed the face of technology in every field, ranging from healthcare, manufacturing, business, education, banking, and information technology. To simply put, artificial intelligence is the ability of the machines to function just like the human brain. It is broadly classified in artificial narrow intelligence, general intelligence, and super intelligence. On the other hand, machine learning is naturally a subset of AI. It provides the statistical methods and algorithms and enables the machines or computers to learn automatically from their previous experiences and data and allow the program to change its behavior accordingly. India's national strategy for AI by Niti Ayog has formulated the way forward to harness the power of artificial intelligence in various fields. Present use cases in India are the smart mobility and transportation, agriculture, education, healthcare, and smart cities and infrastructure. The evolution of AI has also been seen from 1950s to 2010s. Culturing the idea of AI to extensive use cases like Internet of Things, Virtual Reality, Augmented Reality, and Big Data. Information technology consists of IT services, business process outsourcing. It has increased its contribution to India's GDP from 1.2% 1 in 1998 to 77 in 2017. India's IT workforce as of 2020 is 4.36 million. The major IT hubs resides in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Delhi, NCR, and Chennai. The evolution of IT is being seen in this picture. By early 90s, US-based companies began to outsource work on low-cost and skilled talent poor in India. By 2015, firms in India became multinational companies with delivery centers across the globe. Data science involves the approach to extract actionable insights from the large and ever-increasing volumes of data being generated. It mainly involves data preparation, which is to clean, aggregate the data and manipulate it for specific processing. And data analysis, which involves development and use of algorithms, AI and ML models to transform patterns into prediction to support business decisions. It is being used by many Indian companies and also by the government to predict customer behavior and to analyze big sets of data for valuable results. Data science workflow is also being shown where the main aim is to capture the data, then to manage and clean the data, and then to do analysis on that data and report the data. The major contributors in computer science are Rajiv Motwani and Anil Kumar Jain. Rajiv Motwani was a professor of computer science in Stanford University. His research is mainly focused on theoretical computer science. And his major contributions are the page rank algorithm. And he was also the originator of the locality sensitive hashing algorithm. On the other hand, Anil Kumar Jain 
was a professor of computer science and engineering in the Michigan State University. He is known for his major contribution in the field of pattern recognition, computer vision, and biometric recognition. He is also the foreign member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. We have learned a lot till this, but now it's our time to conclude on this topic, progress of engineering disciplines in independent India. The UGC was first formed in 1945 to oversee the work of the three central universities of Aligarh, Banaras and Delhi. Its responsibility was extended in 1947 to cover all Indian universities. In November 1956, the UGC became a statutory body upon the passing of the University Grants Commission Act 1956 by the Indian Parliament AICTE, which stands for the All India Council for Technical Education, established in 19 November 1945, first as an advisory body, then in 1987 given statutory status by an Act of Parliament. AICTE is a national level council for technical education under the Department of Higher Education. AICTE is responsible for proper planning and coordinated development of the technical education and management education system in India. NBA. NBA was established by the All India Council for Technical Education AICTE in 1994 and operated as an autonomous body since 2010. In 2014, it was granted a full membership status in the Washington Accord. There are approximately 3,500 engineering colleges in India that offer almost 100 various specializations in the various fields of engineering with computer science, civil engineering, electronics and communication engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering speciali specializations being the most prominent and the desired ones. Leading by the examples of our college has over 10 branches and two more branches will be added from the next academic year.